The communication matrix also talks about categories of communicative behavior. And these are really just the modes that you might use to communicate. So for example, if we're talking about somebody expressing discomfort, do they move their body when they're really uncomfortable? If you're talking about someone who's engaging socially, do they look at the partner? Do they smile, facial expression? Is there a visual cue where they're looking at something? Is there a simple gesture reaching out for something versus something that's a little more conventional, like a point or even a formal sign? Maybe we're talking about a vocalization. We can get into more concrete symbols, so a photograph that looks exactly like what it stands for. I point to this picture of cookies and I know that that's going to mean cookies versus a more abstract symbol. I point to this picture of a jumping frog and that means go. And then language, spoken language, which is something that's a lot more abstract in its nature.